List views are a powerful feature of Salesforce. I'm on a list view right now under the Opportunities tab, and this would be all opportunities in my org. You can actually see how list view is filtered by clicking the filter icon, and you can add and remove filters as well. So this would be all opportunities. I could add a filter to show me just my own opportunities by selecting either owner full name or first name or last name. I know that I'm the only user in this org with the last name of Wheeler. So I'm going to put that in and this will narrow down then the list view to only opportunities that are owned by myself. And instead of saving this and changing the filtering on the all opportunities list view, I'm going to click the down arrow next to it and select save as to create a new list view. Be all of my opportunities and I can set this to where only I can see this so that it's not confusing to other users, but you can share list views with either all users that can see this list view or share this list view with a group of users. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And so now you'll see this narrowed down to just the opportunities owned by myself. Now other functionality of list views is you can sort by the different column headers in ascending or descending order. That might prove helpful for you as well. And then there's also different formats for list views, kind of little known. And depending on the object you're on, you may have the ability to sort list these as a Kanban list view. And here you can see different opportunities by record type. And then these are the different opportunities by stage along with totals for each as well. And the final one is split view. And here the list view is on the side. You can select one and see the details here. So let me revert that back to table. And then if you're in an environment with list views where you think that Things may be updating quickly. A good example of that would be cases. I'm going to go into the service application and pull up the cases list view. And oftentimes you'll find yourself, for example, in a call center resolving cases. And from time to time, you'll want to refresh the list view to see if there's any new cases that have come into the queue, for example. And so let's look at the formats here available on cases as well. You can do Kanban for those. These would be the different status designations on the case. And then as well, if I go into the marketing application, and go into leads, much the same. That could be a more high volume environment sort of setting. I've got all open leads here. Looking at that filter, this would include all leads that do not contain a status of closed. And then the available formats for list view here is this table, Kanban, and split view as well. And this would be also status on lead. Most of these cases are working contacted. And then we've also got a couple of cases under a record type of software development, and those are open, not contacted, and several that are uncategorized. They don't, haven't been assigned a record type. I recently added record types to my lead object. Now let's look back in the sales application and go into accounts. And you can also add charts to list views as well. So clicking the chart icon, you can provide further analytics along with your list view. We've got option here on accounts to have those displayed accounts by industry and then hovering over this will give details on what those individual industries are so you can see the share of each industry for the different accounts in your org in this example. All right, so that is a quick overview of list views and some of the functionality that you'll find in Salesforce for displaying your records in different visual ways. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and please leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn next in Salesforce, and I may make a video about that. And until then, I'll see you next time.